take more. I don't know. Okay. Get there. Okay. Seems to be getting a little bit cleaner. Been using like window cleaner. Now I'm gonna try putting a little penetrating oil on it. The degreaser seems to get rid up to a certain amount of stuff. And it seems I think this actually does cause more to get dissolved. Sort of what I would expect. So just put a little more on. Let's see. We can wipe it down. Yeah. Looks to me like it works. Looks like, yeah, it's whiter there than it is there. I think this is maybe a baked epoxy finish. It's, it's really nice. I kind of think this predates powder coating, although that might be how it was done with an epoxy powder and then baked. Forerunners. Pretty, pretty durable, though. And get this part cleaned up if I can. And then I'll move and I'll start working on the front, on the upper part. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, all right, that's cleaning up. That's getting looking better. I think, though, I'm going to put it back down flat and work on the ways a little bit more. Get this back half worked out. And the other side, yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's. Oh. There we go, before and after. Yeah, that was pretty nasty, don't it? Oh. Okay, put a little window cleaner. Ammonia! Put a little ammonia on it. Up some more Q tips. These big towels. Oh, Liberally apply. All kinds of old critters. Rust on the motor. Not a good sign. Let's 
see where that's the area where most work was done right up front first round uh, rinse and repeat not do that again. first level of crud at least after you've got the first level crud off, you can find out where it's really a pain. Yeah, like the thought. Mm. I like where you thought. Well, we clean all this in here, it's never going to be seen. But that's what I was saying about. What I'm really doing is just examining every millimeter like a fine tooth comb. I'm not really trying to clean it. it. Looks like it's got plastic guides on the ways. I was wondering about that. Yeah. I need to lay it down. First round of that. 